What's better right now? Living here or going back to Haiti? Como lo gente trata a ti? Aquí? Mm. Huh? Because I will live in bed. If, if I'm coming back now. Some people are going to think you differently. Better right. Than here. Right. I'm living now. Okay. Un beso. Esto tengo un casé. What's up guys? Some of you guys may know I am Haitian American, born in America. Parents are from Haiti, so of course I love my Haitian food. And to my surprise, I looked online and there is a Haitian restaurant here in Sao Paulo. So we're going to it. Interestingly enough, on my journey I've just been seeing a huge contrast of uh, the city. Uh, as you know, this is the fourth biggest city in the world. and. For the most part, I've been seeing huge high rises, but that slowly has stopped. Now I'm entering a neighborhood where I can see more of a, a favela type settings. You know, we're gonna go to this restaurant and I can't wait to show you what I find. I'm super happy. It's been months since I ate some Haitian food. Disclaimer, although I am Haitian American, my Creole, my Haitian Creole is also trash. I don't use it as much, so it's it's not as good either way let's uh, see about this place so we're pulling up right in front of the restaurant hopefully i put the right address but this is the neighborhood so we got a um, car repair place here it's like a warehouse area here he should be in here i guess this is the place right here yeah. all right let's uh, check it out okay. thank you thank you and first thing i see is a dog hello doggy all right don't mess me up okay i'm just chilling Another dog here too. <laughs> All right, we're like brothers, and this is the place right here. Here, culinary Haitian Brazilian food right here. Basically, James and um, Drew Benny, and here's the place. Dog is like really trying to figure out what's up with me. All right, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Uh, Pigeon way. I'm so that Miami pool when I'm sorry. We my career is terrible. I just thought I'm from Miami. Hmm? Huh? Kirele. Uh huh. Kirele. Yes, wah. Uh huh. So nice. Look at the restaurant, guys. Not bad. See the type of food you can have here. I'm bringing Asian vinegar to manger. So she basically said there's a lot of Haitians that come here to get food. In Brazil, yo, 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 vinila? We, yo, 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 women, um, they say, uh, so the Brazilians come here, get some food, they love the Haitian food here. You know what I mean? I already know that. Okay. Bonsoir, Shay, bonsoir. Nougat and Guillo? Okay. Bom de Guillo avec D. Oui. Qui j'en ai les dix ça? Du collé. Okay, okay. Oh, you know I'm American, man. I'm messing it up. Du collé. Bon piquilis, bon. Bon piquio, mes graisses. Ma paye pour tout ça, okay? All right. Combien de temps restaurant ça là? Combien de temps? Un an, un an, quatre mois. Quatre mois? Un an, quatre mois. Okay, so one year and 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 almost like six year, six one uh, one year and six months. So uh, basically a year and a half. This restaurant has been here, serving the community here in this uh, this area. I told her to give me some pork. I know a lot of you guys don't eat that, but uh, Haitian cuisine is more than just pork. You have uh, chicken, fish, you, have, you can get goat, you can get turkey, 
I like me some pork. So I'm gonna get me some pork. I don't care what you say about it. It's going down and that's the bottom line. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. You can tell. But look at the neighborhood here. I got checked by the dogs already. The dogs, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> you ain't from here, player. <laughs> they don't have a Haitian flag. Quit flag la. Uh oh. Who bought me again? But the Haitian flag la. <laughs> oh. Oh, huh? She said she got her flag. One. Oh, okay, Mata. Okay, bless her. All right. Wow. I'm film TV video la. Okay, check it out. All right, let's check them out. So this is them preparing the meat, the grill. Uh huh. Wow. No, I'm gonna see what new game this. Okay, we. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> and she's getting ready to plans right here. Okay. There's certain ways of preparing the planning. This is her way of doing it. Several different ways you can do it. You cut it up to the size you want. And yeah, and you cut them at an angle. I know this because I used to work at a Haitian restaurant in Little Haiti in Miami. And you, you cut them up uh, an angle. You um, you dip them in, uh, then you squash them. You put them in water and they squash them. And then you dip them in some salt and water. Uh, a salt, it's a special type of salt. And then, then you fry it and it comes out good. For those who are trying to figure out where am I, okay. So this is the name of the place right here. Uh, if you Google it, that's what you'll see. And um, let's see if we can see the map in order to give people perspective of where we at in the map. We're by a place called Campo Libre. Um, I'm not too sure where that is in Sao Paulo, but yet you let me know if that's a decent neighborhood. Seems like a cool neighborhood, although it seems like you do find maybe some some different type of housing, maybe. It's this different. I don't know. I won't say low income or anything just yet, but uh, different type of housing. Here. All right, let's see what they got to drink, guys. All right. Mind, we are in Brazil, so it might, have, maybe it might be limited on the drinks. Okay, so this is their rendition of what is called Malta. Normally the Malta comes in a bottle, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, Shay, my point. Alright. So it but well, it is a form of Malta. So we'll try it. See how it is. Traveling around the world, especially for the uh, immigrants, they have an opportunity to create businesses in other places. If there is a huge influx. From my understanding, um, Brazil was one of the places that opened their door after her, uh, Haiti had their huge earthquake several years ago. And so a lot of them did migrate here at one of the places to start a new life. But they also have to like improvise on ingredients and things that, of that nature they may not have. Um, they can't find it in the country. I also went to Argentina, I found Haitians there. I went to Ecuador, I found Haitians there. Mexico, the same thing. And you can say the same thing for other different um, uh, groups who are just leaving their countries. The Venezuelans you'll find here, I'm pretty sure. You'll find uh, Africans from different countries here. Um, Dominicans, I'm pretty sure there are some Dominicans around here. I found a, a huge group of them in Argentina. Everybody's just making their way. All right, let's try this uh, Malta right here. Mm. It tastes exactly like the bottle, but it comes out of the can. It's not bad. Let me ask you a question, guys. You ever heard of Malta? And have you ever drunk it with milk? Oh, comment down below if you, you know what this is. Or well, this is in a country you've seen an, um, besides here. These are their prices and what they offer here. Basically, they got chicken here with rice. Or you can get some pork or you can get some beef. All right. Also, I offer uh, steam fish here or fried fish here. All of these are, in my opinion, reasonable prices. Let's 
see what they got here. More chicken, burgers. They want some breakfast, they got it, baby. So just to make it clear, this is uh, Brazilian meals here. Typical Brazilian meals. It says it here. Platos Brasiliano and the Haitian meals here. That's another thing too, if you want to survive in a community that's not yours, you're going to have to learn to serve the community. So, them understanding how to speak Portuguese and cook their the traditional foods probably is what's making this restaurant thrive at the moment. And Pujo, Pujo trying to figure out who I am. Okay, he gone. Okay, there it is. <laughs> There it is, they got the flag, <laughs> right there. Oh my gosh, guys. And there it is. Love the presentation. I am in Disney World right now, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. I am in Disney World, okay? This is pork shorters if you're trying to figure out what type of pork is that. And yes, I'm going to tear the food up. Also guys, they have what is called piccadies right here. Check it out. Oh, so it's like a spice. It's a coleslaw spice. When you eat it with the rice and whatever meat you're eating or fish, it'll hit. It enhances everything, even all the flavors. Try some of this rice. Mm. They really seasoned it really good. We'll save the salad for later. Where did you go? She said she has some sauce for me. Oh, that's another thing you poured on the rice. Oh. So we'll try um, the piglies. Sometimes they make it too hot or mild. They did a good job with the piglies. Mm -hmm. Not overly hot, but definitely the best part of the piglies is cutting down the the coleslaw vegetables and everything they have in it. You got carrots in there. The way I like the pickles done is to make sure it, it's moist. Sometimes they make it and it's kind of dry. This is this is perfect. Right here it has the green pepper. You got the chopped carrots. You got the cabbage in there. Um, makes for a really good uh, condiment to put onto the food. We probably Portuguese too. Bale. Bale. <laughs> Five years she's been living here. She speaks Portuguese, her, her co worker does it. So we got the sauce, guys. Check it out. Look at it So I can see it now. Sauce, put on some rice. All mixed with a really good flavor. And then for me, put that pickle leaves all over it. Just drop it. So if you're Haitian guys, you already know what the time it is. Whenever you come to Sao Paulo, come to this restaurant, come get some Haitian food. Obviously, also get some Portuguese food too, obviously. All right guys, I'm gonna tear up this food and we'll be back, okay? That is see. I'm I'm okay. Oh my god. <laughs> So guys, after my accident, I had an accident. So guys, check out the food. Done. Done. Tore everything up. I am tempted to take some home with me um, to eat later tonight or tomorrow. Really good. All right, guys, I took another plate to go. This is actually chicken. Rice. Let me see if I can show you a little bit of it. Nice, nice. And they have a huge drumstick right here. 
Let me put it right here. Awesome. Really good. <laughs> So guys, uh, the I guess the owner is here, or I don't know if sure, but it's, this is James, right here. <laughs> there he is, right here. What's up, Sakwasa James? Welcome, Napuji. Okay, okay. La series two I see, qui n'a pas baoulo. Et tout le monde qui veut venir manger, non la vous nous servio. La série du restaurant et qui n'a iFood et qui n'a Instagram. Et qui est dans Google. Nous avons un service en pile américain qui est toujours venu manger là. Et n'importe qui qui veut tout, qui a toujours venu là, on fait un bon poisson fruit, bon banane fruit, un bon gris, toutes sortes de besoins vont venir nous reprendre. Nous pouvons créer adresse là seulement nous faisons tout le temps. De lundi jusqu'à jusqu dimanche. Nous reprenons. Américain, quelle que soit la nation, on a bon manger. Right. So basically, he's welcoming everybody to come here. He says a lot of Americans already come here. You can find them on social media platforms. And you know, he has some really good fish. Lady that came in earlier ordered some fish. They got some really good plans. And yeah, everybody is welcome to come get some Haitian food in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Come. All right. All right, guys. So this is. Uh, Marinade. Ma Marinade? Marinade. Okay, so it's a batter mixed with um, various different things. But this one is mixed with pigolies. But it's going to have other stuff in it. You can have meat in it as well. This one's prickly, so let's try it. Just got out of the oil. Mmm. 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 Very good. It's like a it's like a conch fritter without the fritter. <laughs> That's a lot of food right there, guys. Yeah. So 10 reais is like $2 American and you get this uh, essentially a vegan, vegan platter right here. Pickles and um, some vegetables mixed inside here as well. Awesome. All right guys, so I got my plate of Haitian food. Uh, I gave the ladies a surprise for being on camera. You know I'm gonna always show love. I didn't record it, but you know I did, all right? They were very happy. Before I left, they all said they were happy to see me. So it was very, uh, welcoming and i felt like they would have done said the same thing if i didn't even give them the tips anyway so either way what's up man <laughs> this guy's already starting guys all right guys i'm back in uh, the market area here i heard that, that they actually have some haitian vendors here so let's see if we can find some there's a lot of people from all different types of cultures here some uh, uh, black workers are from Africa and I was able to speak to them because uh, Haitian Creole is like a mixed African mixed indigenous mixed French um, language and so I was able to talk to a guy who speaks French because a lot of people in Africa speak French and I thought it was broken he told me that I might be able to find some Haitian guys hustling in the street so let's see if we can find some someone. What's up, boss? You speak French? Australian. Huh? Poquito. Poquito? I'm 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 Haitian. I'm looking for Haitian people. You know any Haitian people? You're Haitian people. Map chasse mon haïtien. I'm from Miami. You, what you say? I'm Asian. Ah, it's like a fed. <laughs> I know you see me with the camera. I'm a YouTuber. I YouTube. I travel the world. I just want to say hi. That's it. You know. I'm turning on getting pretty Asian. I'm the way for Asian. For Kenyan. It's a woman. Oh, it's a it's a street. Who pa pale ko? Kiss up pale. Who pale Portuguese? É um faz tempo. Um 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 pintão lá. Como é que eu vivo lá? Ten. He been living here for ten years. He doesn't remember his Creole, guys. Wap wap where is that? Wap wap galé duat lá dan. Duat. Wap wap não ir pelo cubo lá. Wap vir lá le duat. Como é que é mais aí se nós tivermos mais com comer comer atividade. Já 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 fiz lá. Eu ganhei mais de lado bom. Oui. Yo gen griyo, bon an pèze, pegele yo? Oh, ok, ma balè, lot bo. Ka fin balè, toi. Non, non, sa ou gen la, sa ou gen la. 
Bon, on petit bagaille là. Bon, on petit corps, ils ont mis moi. Ok. Ok, ma parole est l'autre mot et le gauche. Ok, ok, merci, merci. All right. So he was skeptical with me with the camera. And so, yeah, got some Haitians here, man. Cool. So he told me there's like, uh, if I go this way and make a, a, a left, I should run into a, a lot more Haitians there. They have activities there. Um, they actually have other, another area for food. It is a Haitian food, I'm not too sure, but it's interesting. He was trying to speak to me in Creole, but he forgot a lot of the words because he's been living here for so long. When it comes to Spanish, Haitians can pick it up real quick, especially if we learn at an early age. My mom speaks better Spanish than me. She'll be on the phone with her friend for hours speaking in Spanish. That's what inspired me. She didn't teach me Spanish, but me knowing that she could speak it inspired me a lot to learn it myself. The my right Creole is not as good as his, but he made it clear. Just go straight and then turn this way. Well, do you know where the Haitian people are? I'm from Miami. Uh, Basically, they're telling me to walk down this street and I should be bumping into some Haitians. A lot of them are street vendors. So we'll, let's see what we can find here. It might be a little bit too late though, it's five o'clock. I have this pro, I don't know, this problem about me where I don't start the day until like three o'clock in the afternoon. It's the craziest thing how this city, this, well, Brazil in total, it's like the time runs by fast for me here. It's, it's crazy. I don't know for you if you're a foreigner, do you feel what I'm talking about? You understand what I'm saying? Time just flies by here. Yo estoy buscando gente haitiano. Hay gente aquí, seca. ¿Dónde? ¿Tú conoces dónde? Eso de aquí mismo. Ah, aquí? Eh, aquí, aquí. Ok, corte la gente. Yo fui a ajeitar mi documento lá en cima, lá. Ahí demoró mucho tiempo. No, no, yo hablo. No, no. Eh, poco tiempo. Ó, oh, ó. Oh. No. I think this guy is on uh, on something. <laughs> okay, abrigao. All right, guys. As I'm walking, this is how the streets looking. Looking a lot more choppier. Looking more spicy over here. <laughs> I like your shirt, man. Big boss. Yes. Uh huh. Chemise. It's a it's a Yeah. Okay. Chemise uh, is Spider-Man. No, I'm te parler avant mon autre boy yo di yo gen un pile haïtien la mbe. Tu mle parler avec yo yo so de Miami. On fait un ti. Amea. He's holding my camera, guys. All right. Look at your, your boss, your, your father. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Okay, all right. I said no lie. Okay, boss. Okay, we're here. All right, you too, man. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, um, um, Lord Bo. Oui. This is the bad. She's not bad. She's not really. Venel. Okay, Leon. No, no, Leo. Leo. Okay, boss. Ma vini, Leo. Combien de temps est-ce que tu es là? Il y a 6 ans. Il oh, y a même 5 uh, ans. Il y a 5 ans. Il y a 5 ans. Ah, Brazil. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil haïtiano. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, He's a Brazilian, a Haitian. C'est nous Gostar, papa. Ah, Gostar. Brazil. Il n'y a pas de parole, non? Gostar est. Gostar. Gostar. Okay, boss. Combien de temps? Combien de temps? Cinco minutes. Okay, five minutes. All right. 
So we um, made some Haitian here. He had to go do something, but he told me if I walk five minutes this way, uh, I will meet some Haitians and there might be a restaurant. He's coming back. There might be a neighborhood here for them here. Let's go. So here is this br creepy bridge we are crossing. So he told me like walk five minutes straight and I should see an area where to find some Haitians. I guess I could highlight is there is some property here not to dwell in negativity or anything but I have been told by taxi drivers I've been told by uh, other people that Sao Paulo has an issue with drugs not to say these people are on drugs there was a I guess one area where they used to hang out and so what the city did was disperse that area and so what that did was actually make them scatter around the whole city so that was the situation to me they seem harmless but you can't tell when someone's itching for a fix you don't know what they how they will act African. <laughs> so uh, a beautiful woman just walked by speaking <laughs> French to him. Ah, French. Yeah. Uh, and he 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 back into her. And, but I was like, I thought she was from Haiti. Uh she's not from Haiti, but he's from Haiti. Leon. Uh, Wilson. Wilson. Uh, Wilson has been here for three months. Uh, two, two? Uh, two, two months he's been here. Um Bagayoe okay i think he's saying it's a lot better being here than in San, uh, santo domingo who fed in yeah. santo domingo yeah. so he's haitian but he was born in santo domingo uh, dominican republic uh, uh, okay, you came here because you wanted to search a little bit, you wanted to work, you wanted to work in San Domingo? The way, o sea. Oh, you speak Spanish too, of course. Well, we're going to switch you to Spanish, I know you're going to talk trash. I speak Spanish. Okay. I speak English, I speak Spanish. I trabajo, so que maltratan a los que son descendientes de Haití. So they, they treat the Haitian descendants, even though he was born in Dominican Republic, bad. Now you come here to live. And how do you find work? How do people treat here? Here they treat very well to the people. He said the people here are treated a lot better. The Haitian people. Uh, at least he's been treated a lot better. Two months here. He's, okay, so he's doing some type of work here after two months of coming here. Okay. Okay, so here it's kind of hard to tell who's Haitian or not because there's a lot of uh, other black races here from Africa. Um, black races. There are a lot of different um, cultures here from Africa, different um, people from different countries. Okay, so it's difficult. And the Haitians speak French, so they can communicate with the Africans that who speak French too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Okay, five minutes. Yeah. He, that's what the other Haitian told me. Five minutes after ten minutes, I better. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Let me give this man some uh, some love right quick, and we're gonna go look for some more Haitians. Okay. All right. So my new friend Wilson right here is gonna be bringing me to find some Haitian food. Okay. I already ate some Haitian food, but let me see if I can buy some Haitian food for some people in the neighborhood. I think that'd be dope. So let's go. Come on. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so they, they said they got uh, prestige, which is a Haitian type of beer. It's really good when real cold. So we but we're gonna be drinking this. And um, what they're telling me is, um, oh, I forgot where to tell you where we at right here. We're actually in a, a plaza full of Haitians. Some of them are paying dominoes. Some are selling clothing at the moment. So. 
I'm making my presence known and I told the, the restaurant people here that I want to buy some food here. So let's see if that happens. And But they told me to come tomorrow. So let's see if I can come tomorrow and bless a lot of Haitian people here. Or whoever comes and bless the, the, uh, the business, and whoever comes to get some food, it'd be great. He was telling me how the Haitians who live here is a different dynamic from Haiti than here, especially because here you have a different type of culture. So the Haitians, when they come here, and I guess you can say this for other migrant countries, they learn to conform here and a lot of them really enjoy living here. But we were also talking about how Haitians are, some of them are going through the Darien Gap. For those who don't know, the Darien Gap is uh, actually the area between um, Colombia and Panama. And basically when I say Darien Gap, they just trying to make their way to America. So they just have to migrate all the way through all these uh, South American countries into Central America and finally making it into Mexico and seeing what they can do. But there's a lot of hardship between that. The Darien Gap, um, I can recall uh, Timmy, Timmy a YouTuber went over there, he told me a personal story about a Haitian, a family of Haitians who got on a boat and the boat tipped over and one of the Haitian man lost his whole family. He arrived in Panama, but he was not the same person. He lost his mind. And it's a, it's a sad story, but it's a story for a lot of people trying to look for a better life for their family. And we were just talking about how maybe Biden, you know, it be, might be waiting better off if they want to go to America, wait for the proper ways of doing that. One of them is the Biden program at the moment. Um, but he was saying, hey, sometimes Haitians, they have a decent life, maybe they don't need to go to America, they can find something here uh, to each his own. It's very interesting um, dynamic, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't wait to come back to see how it is tomorrow. He actually told me there is a dance club down the street for like uh, Haitian music, dancing, they're gonna do dancing today. I don't know if I go today, let's see. And um, I'm not really dressed to go. My boy Wilson, this he had to make a phone call, so he walked away. But we have one of the beautiful. Kijon Yeah, Mirlan. 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 Well, she's actually Dominican Haitian. She was born in Dominican Republic. She's uh, has uh, her Dominican um, passport, but she is a uh, descendant of uh, Haitian descendant. You get what I'm saying, but she moved here eight years. Uh, que, so we're gonna speak Spanish, all right? ¿Qué tal Brasil? Oh, Brasil está bien. ¿Y cómo la gente trata? Muy bien, muy bien. She said Brazil's cool and the people treat her here. I'm um, good here. Hola, cómo está todo bien? Que la comida no es muy cara. Que la gente no son tan racista. Tratan a la gente de normal. So basically the, the food is decently priced here. The the she don't feel that much racism here. Excuse me. She doesn't feel that much racism here. Como a comento vivir en Dominicana. She says she likes Dominican Republic too, so she loves living there. Que tal y que todo el mundo pobre, simplemente que uno sale a buscar a ver cómo van las cosas, uno le gustó, le gustó, pero no es por favor pobre, pobreza que uno sale de su país. Tú pareces un dominicana, ¿sí o no? Claro, eso es. ¿Y qué, qué, qué tal la gente ahí? ¿No lo tratan mal porque sale? Claro que no, claro que no. Okay. No porque lo dicen, uh, eh, hay mucha gente que dice si vas a Dominicana, la gente trata mal o hay que Claro que no, claro que no, depende, todo el mundo se gana su, su comportamiento, porque si, si tú llegas, por lo menos en un sitio, tú encuentras a todo el mundo caminando en un solo pie, no trata tú de caminar en dos pies, porque entonces la cosa se te va a virar, ¿me entiendes? So basically she's saying, it's a case by case scenario. And that's something I kind of figure out. I can't wait to go to the Dominican Republic. But, you know, if some people will treat you good, some people won't treat you, they treat you differently. Okay. Hey, ¿Cuál es tu favorite cosa aquí en Brasil? Ah, ahora mismo tenemos varias profesiones. Uh -huh. Soy estilista y también soy cocinera también. Oh, eh, okay, well. Trato por lo menos por un restaurante y trabajar normal. Y, ¿Tú hablas portugués? Eh, hablo un poquito, son un poco, un poco. 
Mayormente hablo el español. So she says she speaks more Spanish, obviously because that's where she was, you know, born in that type of culture. But she speaks a little bit of Portuguese. He, um, and she says that she likes this place. She has um, more than one career. She does cooking, and I forget what the other one is. More or less, life here is it's okay. It's all right, and I, I'm glad I can share that. Okay. ¿Cuál es tu favorita plato brasileño? Plato dominicano, y plato haitiano también, Pero, y brasileño también. Hay plato dominicano aquí, hay dominicanos aquí. Que no, hay es, plato dominicano pues, de plato de mi país, muchos dominicanos hay. Uh -huh. Compartir. Right. Que tú sabes que la bandera de dominicana es el arroz. Uh -huh. La bandera haitiana es maíz. Oh, no sabía. No so she like, she was just telling me the fried. No, 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 un momento, yo tengo algo por ti, ok, claro que sí. Una, 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 una propina, algo así, ok, va, wow. ok, sí, ajá, ajá. <risa> ¿Y, y quién es el jefe aquí, tú eres el jefe, yo, ¿no? ese es tu restaurante, ah. this is the boss right here, guys, this is her restaurant, en, entonces mañana yo vengo aquí, yo quiero comprar un, un ¿qué tal, más Dígame. o menos, tiene que venir más o menos la 12, que haya, que haya mucha gente, y que alguien quiera compartir contigo en un vidrio o cualquier cosa, ¿entiendes? Ok. All right, guys, uh, so this is the food here. More pork, I know you're going to be like, how much time are you going to eat pork? But I love me some pork. They got me some pickles. It's definitely different than the way I normally eat it. But we're gonna eat that and then some fresh plantains. I like to think this was this food was made by a Brazilian woman. I know that she was downstairs in the kitchen cooking. So, um, but yeah, there are some Asians here, but I think she was the one that cooked it. She brought she brought the food up. So, man, the food is so good, guys. And uh, let me try this plantain. This looks so freshly cooked, man. So good. So sometimes you'll go to a restaurant and the plantains will look a little bit more darker. And that's because the oil has uh, been used all day. But when you use a fresh batch of oil, this is how it looks. Really beautiful, oh my God. All right guys, so I'm back in the uh, same area. I met the Haitians and I thought uh, I'd show you how the place looks in the daytime. With just the energy and vibes we have here, all right? Bunch of street vendors out here. All right. And we're just gonna walk to the area, but you see a lot of homelessness like down here. Just people hanging out in that area. Okay. remember the exact area Sorry. Mira, es dominicana, ella es la dominicana. 
Ah, Dominican, Dominican, Dominican. ¿Qué tal entonces? Se llame Ana que le diga. Vamos a ver. Dominican. Bueno, busca a alguien para que yo lo compre algo por. Sí. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Yes, I'm Asian. Okay, so, what part of Haiti are you from? Uh, I'm from Ngonaib City. Okay, you know? okay, all right. So, how long you been living here in Brazil? Uh, I've been li I live in here 10, 10 years old. 2014, I was coming here. I got a brother. He always helped me. He lives in the United States of America. Oh, your brother you know? went to America? Yes. Was he here too, or he, la or he went? He, he lives there. But he, oh, he was born there, or? So he sent me the money sometimes for me pay the house, you know, for me eat, you know? How's your life here now? I mean, you was in Haiti, but you was 10 years old, you was a baby, So and now you're in Brazil. I did nothing, man, nothing. I can't tell you, man, because I was sick. You know, oh, you, you've time. been having a hard time for yeah, work coming. because you're sick. Yes, man. All right. So now I'm getting to, I'm just better now. You feel and better? I'm getting, okay. I'm getting to, to go on the United States. My brother, he's getting to make it oh, for he, me. Oh, he's he going to do the biting? Yes. Oh, okay. He make it for me, yes. So you're just so waiting? I don't know. I don't know how long, how long time Okay. that will be. But okay. I trust him. You know, what about he okay. always yeah, tell you gotta me the wait. You, you gotta wait. Yes, man. Yeah, I know. You with me. Yeah. So, yeah. what about your life here in Brazil? Do people treat you nice? Treat me very, 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 very bad, man. Very bad. People Brazilian do 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 get the respect for other nations who come in here. For they immigrants. Say, yes. They say if if our nation come in here in Brazil, it's for it's because. They was passing, you know, very bad situation. So, wait a minute. You know? So, are you saying it's for that someone can wait? Stop, stop. Yeah, do you so stop. They don't think him very well about oh, other. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Are you saying when immigrants come here, some of them yes, are being accused as being criminal or something? Yes. When they come here? Yes. Because many, many Brazilians don't treat me well. No. Do you have Brazilian friend? I got a many. I was. I okay. didn't. But some of them good. <coughs> they fake, fake man, fake, fake friend, fake, fake. When I stay too long, you know, they is fake. So I don't, I don't stay together with nobody moment. You know. So it's for that I can tell you, I don't, I don't like this. More this, this this nation. But, the, now. but Brazil let you stay in the co country. They give you opportunity to stay here. So I can can I understand? Right. But they don't treat me well. Okay. They very treat me wrong, man. So you don't know, man. But I know. Okay, I know. I what see I mean. what uh, what they do. They make they make it with me. You know, right. but to treat me bad. You understand, man? I person. Many, many, many bad moments here. I've talked to you. Who make it too day? Oh. So you've been having a, a harsh experience here because I talked to other Haitians and they tell me they have a good experience here. So, for 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 day, but for me, okay, never so, was. So there's a contrast. <coughs> some people have good experience. Some people have bad experience. No, no, I know it's for that. I don't care too. What you used to do for work? You say you were you used to work, right? I was. I did. I did work about two years and seven months. I did a uh, work on construction. Oh, construction work. Yes, before and after that. I I know paint. I know paint. Oh, you you paint? Yes, yes, I know. Oh, okay. So you was doing the paint. Did yes. you give you the money was okay or no? It was. It, it was. It was. When I was, you know, you, it was. Did you get a little opportunity? So, so you think you got a little opportunity here in um, 
um, in Brazil? In I know, I know. I, did, I got many opportunities. You know, for me, uh -huh. do the money. But I can tell you, man. Uh, I was, I was lost all my documents. Yeah. Can I tell you? Yeah. My passport, everything. I did was. Right. Uh, lost everything. But my brother, he paid for to make his so my passport to back Your brother home. been helping you big time. Yes, That's man. That's good. He's always looking out for with you. me. Uh, That's good. It's Look your for brother. That's your family, man. My mother too. My mother, she's in the United. Oh, she in the States yeah, too? Yeah, she living there. Okay. What's better right now? Living here or going back to Haiti? So, eat my passport. Coming on my hand, yeah. I can do back on my country. I don't get any problem. You want to go back to Haiti? Yes, I can. I want wow. to go. Wow. That's what I tell you. Because I will live in bed. If, if I'm coming back now. Some people are going to think you differently. Better right. Than here. Right. I'm living now. Okay. On basin. Uh. If I'm coming back to my country, everything's going to be all right for me. All right. You know, I will let nothing me uh. for me to leave. You saw that? Haiti has me, changed. Me. How old are you now? Come, kill us. Oh, 30, 33 years old. Okay. Yeah. Haiti's changed. Uh, yes. It's not the same That's Haiti. Right. I do nothing, man. I can tell you, man. They so, say they don't got no work in Haiti. So I know, but if I come back in Haiti, man, I will let nothing, man. You can believe. So you right now, for you, all you need is your visa to get back to Haiti. Yes. You're waiting for that right now. Yes. But your visa has, you got to get it from Haiti right now. So, no, he, he will come, he will send me my passport. My passport on the United States. Okay. My brother. Okay, so. With, with my brother, my mother. Okay. My passport. All right. You will send me before, you know, if, if it's for me, go. The United States. Then you go, okay. Yes. So if either oh, Biden or if you get your passport, yes. you have the exactly. choice of going back here. You know, I got two opportunities. Okay. Right now, okay? All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Victory. God bless you. Peter. Nice to meet you. Don't worry, man. We, I, I'm going to see if I can get you the. You say you want let? Yeah, the milk I need. A uh, okay. We're going to go to a grocery store and get him some stuff. Um, how you like this neighborhood? It's nice. So, I know. No, 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 no. I don't say that. I don't say here. Not a country who is not nice for me. It's a nice country. For me, it's nice. But, uh -huh. a country have nothing to see. On the, I can talk about the people. We oh. live on the country. Okay, it's a beautiful no? country. But, the people, the is people is very... Bad man. Do Bad. you speak Portuguese? Yes, I do very well, man. And so why you think you have but you say you have some Portuguese friends. So I can tell the truth, man. I, I speak Portuguese then more than Brazilian. I can tell you that. <laughs> I could imagine you speak decent Portuguese. So uh, okay, come on, let's go inside. If I don't the talking, I got the two fruities I wanna buy. Go ahead, no problem, man. Go ahead. Let me go. Let me, let me go. Wow, some big avocado. Yeah, man. That, that, that avocado. I like it so much. Mm. <laughs> I like it. Eating a nice, healthy. Luisa like it. No, I like it. Oh. Aqui chama o Relé Sá Zaboca. 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 So you like to eat very healthy now. So I'm going to make a juice with all. Oh, okay. With all together. Oh, oh, give you strength. Force. That's good. I use. Look, that's good. Koto Okay. Is it a good apartment? Good apartment or? Uh... No problem. Kishan Lie. Kila or Upe on pill pool. 200, 200 reais. Oh. I pay four months. Oh, okay. But uh, it's my brother who to pay for me. Oh, okay. My brother who oh, is okay. in the United States. Oh, okay. 300 real, that's not bad. 60, do, 60 bucks uh, a month. Uh, a month only. Wow, that's Any good. Any month. That's good, that's good. <laughs> he pay, he pay for me eat. He pay for months for me eat every wow. day. Wow, For me take the food. Wow. He pay for me too. Wow, that's my good. Brother. 
You got a. Uh, you got a. Uh, what's so your brother's name? You got an amazing Florian. brother. Florian. Florian. Peter, yes. Peter? Yes. Shout out to Peter, man. Miami. My last name is Peter. Okay. Florian Peter. Yes. Okay, that's good, man. That's awesome. I like that. I'm very happy to see you, man. No, I'm happy to because see you. Because you are not, I'm, man. I'm happy you're sharing this moment with me because. A lot of people want to know what's going on with the Haitian people who leave Haiti. Uh -huh. in, you know. Always, man, I know, but you don't need to talk about mm. the story of Haiti. Mm. So I know you here. Yeah, you yeah. Here. So, I know, I know. So What he, he touched on is how Haitians cling on to the, the glory of their ancestors and hope that they can return back to that glory of such a rich, rich history. And feel like Hades, that's their destiny, to finally get back to that glory. Most Haitians feel that way. Um, I do too. But it, uh, it's gonna take time and patience. Okay? That's all I do. You got it. That's all you wanna eat? I thought you was gonna get a whole bunch of stuff, man. So, so this man wants so fruit. That's probably better for me. Okay. I don't worry for the rice. Okay. I don't worry. Okay. Meat. It's very good. Man. All right. I like it so much. So you get, I need. I need to eat like that, man. I like how you eat. You're very healthy. I want to get like that. Yeah. Okay. You got the let. Yeah, you don't need me. So like everything came up to around five bucks here with all this food. Not bad. Five yeah. bucks for uh, all those fruits and two milk. Oh, I feel a bon shake. You're gonna do a good shake. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. Sapunu. Guys, check this out. So, wow. That looks amazing. Woo! Man, zombie! That was good. Look at this fish, guys. Oh, looks really good. And it's going for 35 reals, man. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got a, a guy from Venezuela here. Tu eres venezolano? Sí, Venezuela. Uh, he's from Venezuela. ¿Cuánto año vive en Brasil? Tengo cuatro años en Brasil. Four years in Brazil. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Cómo es Brasil? No, Brasil es bueno porque, bueno, más que todo aquí en San Pablo, que hay mucho trabajo. Aquí hay mucho trabajo, por eso que... Ok. Eh, más que todo aquí en... San Pablo, no, he trabajado de día, de noche, las 24 horas también, porque bueno el trabajo y, y uno se puede defender. Okay, so basically he says he likes uh, this city in particular, Sao Paulo, because there's a lot of work. ¿Qué tipo de trabajo? Bueno, soy pedrero, pitol, hago mudanza, este, trabajo de vigilante, como se llama, de auto. Security work, okay, wow, okay. He trabajado muchas cosas por aquí. ¿Tú hablas uh, portugués? You speak Portuguese? No, no, no. Se entiendo, pero más no falo. Okay, so he understands, but he doesn't speak it that much. Okay. Uh, ¿Y cómo la gente trata a ti? Bueno, me trata también por la cuestión que como trabajo. La cuestión es que aquí el portugués le gusta que el hombre trabaje, la persona trabaje. Ah. Porque si no te, no le gusta cosas que si uno trabaja y no te dan trabajo. Pues. So he Entonces, said, I asked him how they treat him here, and he says that, well, he gets treated good. Um, treat well here because he's a hard worker and he, he feels like the Brazilian people really appreciate hard workers so they treat him really good okay before you used to live in Venezuela but why you chose Brazil to stay here ¿Por qué viene aquí en Brasil? Para ir a cualquier país. Este, yo era para estar en Estados Unidos porque está la familia mía está en Estados Unidos. Uh, más que todo. He rather go to the United States because his family's there. Sí, ha estado en Estados Unidos, en Italia, España. O sea, yo fui el único que entré para para Venezuela, so, para Brasil. He has family in, in Spain and Italy as well. He's the only one that has not made that transition. But okay, ¿por qué? Porque yo estaba frontera con estaba en la ciudad en en Ah. Frontera con Brasil, por medio de la ONU fue que vine aquí a la San Pablo. Okay, so basically he, he came from Venezuela, he lived on the borderline, but he got caught up in the whole transition of uh, quarantine and everything in 2020, but he ended up making it to Brazil. When he was in Brazil, he got sick, and uh, he was sick for a minute, and eventually he ended up in this city. Ahora vive aquí completo. Sí, sí. Yeah. Ahorita estoy prácticamente estable aquí. Now he's, he's established here. Ya tiene tu vida aquí. Sí, sí, sí. Ajá. Sí, porque ya hay muchas mujeres también aquí. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, uh, uh, there's a lot of women here, duh. Uh, so he has his life here, and um, he's in, I guess, he's learned to transition here. So uh, it's interesting to see the different parallels between um, people when it comes to this city in Brazil. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. She's, uh, excuse me, she's Dominican. She was born in the Dominican Republic. ¿Cómo es tu vida aquí? Ven, 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 siente aquí. ¿Tú eres el papá? El padrato. Ok, the, uh, the godfather. Ok. ¿Cómo es tu vida en Brasil? ¿Cómo es tu vida aquí en Brasil? ¿Cómo es tu vida? ¿Cómo si te gusta Brasil? Sí, te doy, te doy. Me gusta Brasil porque Brasil ayuda mucho a las personas. Él le da mucha ayuda para que los niños estudien. Okay, so she basically likes Brazil because they help people out and help her with her studies and everything. ¿Y tú? A mí me gusta Brasil porque Brasil le da mucha oportunidad al inmigrante. So he likes Brazil because they, uh, Brazil has a lot more um, uh, opportunities. ¿Cuántos años aquí? Dos años. ¿Dos años no, también? Ella tiene un año y yo tengo dos años. Okay. ¿Tú hablas portugués? Sí. Ya, yeah, un rayo, sí. qué rápido. She already understands Portuguese very fast. ¿Y tú? Un poquito. O, a little bit, a little bit. ¿Y qué tal? Uh, uh, ¿En uh, Dominicana no hay trabajo o qué? Bueno, en mi país hay trabajo, pero lo que pasa es que ahora mismo con la cuestión del gobierno está mucho, hay muchos problemas. Bueno, tú tienes muchas uh, 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 opciones para ir a otro país. You had a lot of opportunities to go to other um, países. Argentina, Colombia. Sí, no topo, sí. Dígame. Uh, no topamos en uh, Colombia, Argentina, no necesitamos visa. Ok, ok. Para Brasil no necesitamos visa. Ok. Sí. Entonces Brasil nos da mucha oportunidad a nosotros. Al emigrante le da mucha oportunidad. Ok, so he, like he had an opportunity to go to Colombia. Argentina no, because he needed a visa, but he found some opportunity here. Ok. ¿Y qué tal, qué tal esa zona? ¿Chévere qué? Sí, es bueno. San Pablo es bueno. Una de las mejores zonas. Tiene su alta y su baja. Como hay mucha delincuencia, ¿no? Hay sitios que no hay. Sí. Bueno. Wow. So he said he really loves the place. It's, it's really good. Um, ¿Y cómo tratan a la gente? No, no tratan bien. A los inmigrantes no tratan bien. Sí. Okay. The people treat them good. And, ¿Y tú cómo tratas a la gente aquí? Bien. Ok, people feel good, ok. All right, perfect. Ok, gracias, gracias. Ok, okay thank you. I like the contrast here that you have Haitians and Dominicans just a living in harmony, harmony here. It's amazing, guys. Um, that goes to show you, you see it in America too, we'll like hang out, but it's like a, on the island it's a little bit different. But here it's a beautiful story right here, so I love it. Venga aquí, Dominicana. So now see this woman's Dominican, ok? All right. Hi. So, uh, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se llama tú? What's your name? Elisa. Elisa. ¿Cómo tú te gusta? How do you like Brazil? ¿Cómo tú te, te gusta Brasil? Ay, Brasil me, me encanta del 1 al 100, un 95%. She loves it 95%. No, ¿Cuánto? Un 95%, muy bon. 95% really good. <laughs> Oh, uh, bueno, tú hablas uh, portugués. You speak portugués? Un poco. Mm -hmm. A little bit. ¿Cuántos años tú vives aquí? Eh, uno y, y seis meses. Ok, so she's been here for a year and a half. Y... ¿Por qué Brasil? Why Brazil? Why come here? ¿Por qué estoy en Brasil? Mm -hmm. Bueno, estoy en Brasil, pero yo salí de mi país a buscar una mejoría porque he tenido entendido que Brasil es mucho bueno, ayuda mucho a los inmigrantes. Uh -huh. Por eso estoy aquí. Que tengo mi familia, tengo mi mamá que es un poco mala de salud. Tengo mis hijos allá también. Solo tengo una aquí, dos allá. Ok, so she really likes Brazil because of the fact that they've been, um, they help the people here and she likes the policy here. ¿Cómo la gente trata a ti? Aquí. Mm. Oh, bien, 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 donde quiera, bien. <laughs> she loves, lo, la gente piensa que tú eres brasileño sí, aquí. Sí, por el color. So people think she's Brazilian, she loves it here. <laughs> All right, gracias, gracias. All right. Woo! I smell some good food, man. You drink, you eat, eat good, that's your plate, I don't know. Yes, sir. Yes. Wow, man, look at that. Yeah, that looks great right there. Oh, awesome.
you us. That's for you, that's for you, that's for you. Enjoy. Okay. Wow. Kishon Rele Poisson, sir. What's the name of this poisson? Pescado. Pescado, pero que tipo, el nombre de... Corbina. Huh? Corbina. Corbina um, fish, right there. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> Guys, I feel blessed right now. Amen. So, look at this. We got rice here, fish here. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh Lord. Fish man. Fish. That looks man. amazing. Right. Oh man. I saw. Uh, bon appetit. Okay, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bon appetit. Bon If you had told me that there was a place in Brazil where Haitians and Dominicans live in harmony, I would be shocked. But it makes total sense. Two groups of people trying to survive hailing from the same island, it would only be right that they would group together so they could survive in a foreign land. And although some may have found some hardship, I would like to thank the people of Brazil for offering a safe haven for my brothers and sisters. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, once again, hit that like button. If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my adventures in Brazil, consider subscribing. Because I am definitely not done, it's time for me to show you the real streets of Sao Paulo. And trust me, you don't want to miss the next episode. I promise. And I thank you and Jesus left. Amen. Amen. Alright, we enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.